I get it. Uh, one of the things that I think is crucial in this understanding is that, yes, maybe children don't have lobbyists, but you and I are advocates for children, as are many people on this committee. We come from the classroom. We are their lobbyists here every single day, and that is the mission that I came to this work with. Now, you and, I may, you and I may not agree on everything, and that's fine, but I think we agree on the core principle that students should be, should be at the core of the work that we do. Where I, I do think that we disagree is that uh, teachers play a crucial role in that success for students. Uh, and, and I think that part of the, the problem that I think we see across the state is that these constant attacks on the educators themselves do not help advance the conversation. Uh, we are seeing a, a culture where people don't want to be teachers anymore. And it's not just in Michigan, it's across the country, but these adults are getting blamed for, for progress that is not in their total control. Uh, when you have students who come from poverty and cannot escape poverty because of the systems that this state has put in place, then we are not able to help those students advance to the next level. It is not the fault of the teacher, it is not the fault of the student or the family, it's the fault of the system. And my hope is that when we craft these policies that can overall address these situations, we always take that in mind. Because I believe that uh, until we address poverty, until we address issues like transportation, we will not fully address the whole uh, educational result of the child. And it isn't just about growth versus proficiency. This is about literally being a teacher and having in my classroom food for my students because they did not have food at home. And not many teachers have to, and not every teacher has to go through that experience. And so I believe that it's important to create these safe spaces for, for kids because yes, it's important to have them to grow and to learn, but it's also important to make sure that they have a safe place to be and to feel loved and to feel cared for. And that is something that you cannot measure. Um, and I think that this conversation is valuable. I'm glad that we're having it. But when we're looking at uh, when we're looking at the overall measure of what a successful teacher is, you know what it looks like when you walk into a classroom. You can see it immediately, and that's not something you can always put down on paper. My hope is that we will get to a point where that some of that is quantifiable. Uh, but we're not there yet. And until we address these overarching issues where uh, kids do not feel like they are cared for at home or at school and don't have the resources that they need to support themselves to live a, a healthy, happy, full life, we're not gonna get to a place where my kids care about a math score or they care about a social studies score. They wanna make sure that they have food in their, in, 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 in their belly and make sure that they have a safe place to be. So I just wanna make sure that as we're having this large conversation, we always take into account the, the impacts on the kids and I don't believe that blaming teachers or adults uh, for trying to make those best decisions for those kids is always the best answer. Thank you.